What's up, Vix? It's me. I'm back. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody is staying safe, and I hope everybody is being smart. Um, I just wanted to come today because I just wanted to share some stuff with y'all. I wanted to share with y'all the reason why you're seeing um, uh, promos about my business and, 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 and videos from people doing spoken word and stuff like that on the channel, okay? Now, remember, I told you guys that you have to love yourself, right? And what I'm learning uh, as, 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 as I get deeper and deeper into this spirituality and as I get deeper and deeper into learning more about myself and learning who I am and learning about the power that's within me, as I'm getting deeper into this stuff, one thing that um, I realized and that is we have got, and, and, and I'm going to say we because it's not just me, we have got to invest in ourselves, okay? We go on these jobs, we invest all this time, all this energy in our jobs every day, excuse me y'all, in our jobs every day, um, helping make these corporations and these companies or whoever you might be working for, helping make these people rich. They're already multi-millionaires and multi-billionaires and we're going in and we're giving them the best of our time and the best of our energy, right? And by the time we finish giving them our, our, our time and our energy, we really have nothing worthwhile left for ourselves, for our families, or for our own businesses, or whatever the case may be. And that's what I realized. I realized, okay, you're giving, you're giving all of this time and all of this energy to what belongs to somebody else. Love yourself. And when you love yourself, you will love everything that you created. Your children, your family, your businesses, whatever it is that you created, once you really know and love yourself, you will love what you created. And you will want to take that time and you will want to take that energy and put it into what you created. And that's what I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. The time and the energy that I put into working and, 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 and helping these companies make more money and all of this kind of stuff. No, 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 no. And that don't mean I'm not working. I'm working. But I'm reserving and I'm holding back and I'm taking the best of me the best of my energy, the most positive that I have to give, and I'm investing it back in me. I'm investing it back in what I created. And that's exactly what I want all of you guys to do. You understand what I'm saying? Whether it be a business that you created, whether it be your kids, your family, uh, uh, your, 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 your relationships that you're creating, your marriage, or whatever it is, stop giving the very best of you to people outside of you and outside of what you created and start withholding some of that and withholding that positive energy and keeping it for yourself and investing it back in what you created. Because what you created is a direct reflection of you. Anything that you created, whether it be your kids, whether it be your business, whether it be your relationship, whatever it is, if you created it, it is a direct reflection of you. And if you really love yourself, if you really care about yourself, then you will also love and care about what you have created. So I'm not saying that you go on your job and you start slacking on the job and all of that. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is... Hold back a little bit of all of that that you're giving out to all of these other sources outside of yourself, outside of what you created. And keep some of that energy. Keep some of that positive energy. Keep some of those positive vibrations that you're giving out to everything and everybody else outside of you. Keep some of them for yourself and invest in yourself. Invest in you and what you created. And you would be surprised. It won't take 
as much as you think it would take. I thought it would take a lot more money. I thought it would take a lot more time and all of that to do what I'm doing now. And I realized that it doesn't. It doesn't take any more time. It doesn't take a whole, it, it certainly didn't take more money to make these promo videos. You understand what I'm saying? To bring this stuff together so that I could promote what I created. So that I could promote me. So that I could invest back into me. Because I am the greatest thing that I have. I am the greatest thing that I have. I am my greatest resource. I am my greatest cheerleader. I am my biggest critic. You understand what I'm saying? I am enough for me. So in order for me to continue to be enough, in order for me to continue to do the things that I need to do for myself, for my family, for my children, for my granddaughter, all of this, I've got to invest back in me. And I've got to invest in what I created. So that's the reason why you see uh, 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 these videos that I'm putting up now. I'm getting ready to start doing shorts and all of that. That's the reason why you see this stuff is because uh, 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 I, I want to lead by example for one thing. I want to show y'all, you know, uh, uh, I can't tell you to do it, but I can show you to do it. It's not worth five cents for me to say, well, you need to do this and you need to do that. And I can't show you where I'm doing the exact same thing. But this is all a part of us knowing ourselves and us loving ourselves. Uh, 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 all the time that we spend watching TV, all the time and the energy that we spend giving to, uh, to social media and giving to all of this to other stuff that's going on. Take that time back. Take your power and your energy back and invest it in you and what you created. So that you and what you created can grow and expand. There's absolutely nothing wrong with promoting yourself. Remember, uh, if on the channel, I've got this video on the channel talking about these black influencers. And talking about how they come on uh, 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 YouTube and they just and, 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 and they just promoting all of these. They promote Amazon and they promote all of these designer labels like YSL and Louis Vuitton and all of them. And a lot of them have businesses of their own, and they're not taking nearly as much of that YouTube time to promote their own businesses, to promote themselves. To, 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 to invest back into themselves and what they created. And I'm going to also, and as you see with the video that I put up uh, uh, from, from, from the, uh, the spoken word artist, from Tammy. I'm also going to start promoting more positive stuff on this channel. Where people are doing positive things in the community. Because a me a media shows us enough of the negative stuff that's going on within the black community. It's time for us to start uh, 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 promoting and start putting out here this positive stuff that's going on in the community. So you'll be seeing more of that kind of stuff on the channel. And if there's more that you want to see, if there's something particular that you want to see, or if there's something that you want to show people and you don't have a channel of your own or whatever, send that information to me. You know, the, 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 the email for the website, for the, for the channel is always in the description box. But we've got to stop giving all of our energy and all of our power away to other things and other people outside of ourselves and outside of what we have created. We got to take back our time. We got to take back our energy. We got to take back our power and we've got to start investing in ourselves. 
And then as we invest more and more and more in ourselves and what we created, we can invest more and more in what other people like us, that look like us, are creating. So, you know, I just wanted to come and I just wanted to let y'all know the reason why you're starting to see certain things on the channel. Because like I said, I'm going in a totally different direction. We know what the problems are. We know what the problems are in the black community. We know what the problems are around the world. We know what the problems are in the human community. But it's time now for us to start focusing on uh, solutions. And for me, the chief solution is, especially for us in the black community, the chief solution is we got to know who we are. We got to know who we are. And then once we realize who we are, once we realize what powerful beings we are, we got to take back our power. We got to take back our power and we've got to start investing in ourselves and investing in what we are creating. So that what we are creating can grow and can grow and can grow and we can build and we can build and we can build. I remember something that Jason Black said. And it was simple, but it's so profound. He said they hate us because we're black. He said they can harm us because we're poor. The most important thing that the black community, especially the black community in America, but also globally, the most important things we should be concentrating on is how to get rid of this generational curse of poverty. That's the main thing that we need to be concentrating on. We need to be concentrating on how to break the generational curse of poverty out of the black community. Remember, as long as Martin Luther King was walking around talking about we shall overcome and, 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 and they thought he was willing to go along with integration and all of this kind of stuff, he was fine. But as soon as he started talking about we coming to get our check and he started talking about money and started talking about how uh, 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 the wealth in this country has, 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 has uh, been distrib uh, dis uh, distributed and, and redistribution of the wealth and the money and all of that and the resources in this country. As soon as that happened, he was taken out. So if we understand that the goal is to keep us in poverty, to keep us broke, to keep us poor so that we're, we're more easily harmed, so that we become easier targets, then our main goal should be what do we need to do as a whole, as a collective, to break this generational curse of poverty? So if it's not on the minds of the collective, then it should be on the minds of, of, of each individual person. Because that's my goal. That's my goal to break this generational curse of poverty in my family and in the people around me that look like me. And if that becomes our goal as individuals and as a collective, if that becomes our goal, then our, 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 our focus will shift. Our priorities will shift. Our priorities will change. How we do things will begin to shift and will begin, and will begin to change. And we will begin to ask uh, 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 different questions. And we will not be so concerned about the problem because we know what the problem is. Then we'll start being more solution based. And the first thing that you do is you invest in you. You invest in you. You invest in what you have created. Like I said, whether that be a business, whether that be your kids, or, or whatever it is that you have created, invest in that. Invest positive energy in that. Invest positive vibes in that. 
Let that become your focus. Let that become what's important to you. Let that begin to take priority in your life. You know, instead of us out here focusing on all of this foolishness that's going on, you understand what I'm saying? This thought culture, uh, uh, all of this, uh, 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 we don't know whether we're going to be boys one day and girls the next day. Instead of us being focused on all of this foolishness and all of these distractions out here, we have got to get back to focusing on ourselves and our creations, our families, our children. How am I going to leave a legacy for these children? So that these children don't have to start from scratch like I had to start from scratch. So that these children are not susceptible to whatever comes and, 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 and the conditions that anybody else tries to put on them because I have provided for them. They won't become automatic targets just because they're poor. They won't be so easily bought off and, and won't be so easy to sell out because they already got finances. They already got financial security. They already got financial this and financial that and financial freedom and all of this. They already know how to run businesses. They already know how to handle money. They already know how to do these things. They already know how to make money. They already know how to take a little of something or nothing and make something out of it. So they're not so easily bought off. See, this is the kind of stuff that we've got to focus on because that's where the solutions are. But we're so busy doing the day, giving all our time, all of our attention, all of our focus, uh, all of our energy and everything on everything outside of ourselves and what we created. So that's the reason why you will see more and more and more on my channel about me focusing on what I created. Because I'm building a legacy. And I'm breaking some generational curses. Okay? Now, like I said, if there's anything particular y'all want to see, if there's anything particular that you want, if it's something that you know about and you want, it's, it's positive, it's uplifting, especially for our community. It's positive, it's uplifting, it's something positive that somebody is doing in our community. They're offering solutions as far as our community is concerned and you want uh, uh, the opportunity to see it promoted or whatever, make sure you see me, send me an email, send me some links to a video, whatever. I'll look into it and We'll see if we can't get it uh, posted on the channel. And I also want to let y'all know that I'm going over to Spotify and I'm about to start a podcast over on Spotify because there are certain things that uh, need to be talked about that, uh, well, we may not exactly be able to go into on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it would be guest on, on, on the Spotify uh, on the podcast, it'll be guests. We'll be talking about a range of topics. So if y'all want to, down in the description box, list some of the things that you would like for us to talk about over there on Spotify. But when I get all of that uh, situated and created and all of that, then I'll, prov I'll provide the links for that as well. Okay? But I just kind of wanted to give y'all... You know, just, just give y'all some insight. Let y'all know what's going on. Let y'all know what I'm doing. You understand what I'm saying? Let y'all know that I'm still on this journey, but I'm getting deeper and deeper and deeper into it. I'm understanding things a, a, a whole lot better. And I want to bring everybody along with me. And I know I'm not going to be able to bring everybody, but as many as will come, I want everybody to come with me. Because this is a team. This is going to have to be a team effort. White supremacy is a team effort. It's a team sport. It's not an individual thing. You understand what I'm saying? So in order for us to fight it, and in order for us to fight the, all the evil forces in this world, we're going to have to do it as a team. 
But sometimes before you can become a productive member of a team, you have to get yourself together individually. Okay? So that's what I wanted to bring y'all. Like I said, the email and all the information as far as the, ca the channel is concerned will be in the description box. Of course, you know the PayPal and uh, the Cash app for the channel is in the description box. And I think I'm going to start sending my Twitter. I'm going to stop linking my Twitter in the, in, um, in the description box. And I think I'm going to link my Instagram. Because ain't nothing real positive going on with Twitter right now. And I'm all about positivity right now. I'm not about uh, 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 any of this negative stuff. It, it's time for us to, to, to release this negative stuff. It's time for us to release all of this trauma. You understand what I'm saying? And all of this hurt and all this pain and all this bitterness and all this anger and all of that. It's time for us to release that because those are low vibrational emotions and they will keep you in a low place and, uh, 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 and they will keep you as a victim. And it's time for us to take back our power as a people and stop being anybody's victim. So, like I said, all the, uh, the, uh, the, the information for the channel will be linked down in the description box. Like I said, if it's something that you want uh, uh, to hear on a podcast, a particular topic that you want us to talk about or whatever, uh, uh, put that down in the comment uh, section. Um, if there's something that's positive that's going on in the community that you want more people to know about and you want uh, 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 and you want it to be promoted, put the link or whatever information you got about that down in the comment section and I'll look it over and I'll make sure that, it, you know, if it is positive and if it's something that can help, I will make sure that we'll bring some attention to it right here on this channel. All right. So, y'all stay safe, take care of yourselves, love yourselves, get to know yourselves, love each other and take care of each other. Start investing in yourselves and investing in what you created. That's the most important thing. Invest in yourself and invest in what you created. Why? Because you are the most important thing that you got. You are the best thing that you got. You are so powerful. You are so great. You are so wonderful that you are the best thing that you got. So start investing in yourself and investing in what you have created. All right, y'all have a good one and I'll talk to y'all later.